Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, once again, the King of Lightning is here today, bringing you guys and gals Shoku Geki no Soma episode reviews. Today is episode three, and this episode, it's Soma. Mm, mm, mm. Making a whole lot of enemies via first impression. Pretty much everyone here is my fodder. I will take the number one spot. Let's enjoy these next three years together. And he bows. And they and he walks away. And they're all like, bro, fuck you, man. And it was hilarious. Because Soma, he wasn't even worried about, you know, pissing them off. He was worried about, hmm, I'm happy that I didn't bite my own tongue when I was speaking. So you, you, you can see where he lies mentally. Like, his confidence is sky high. So, first of all, when it comes to the animation, the animation is, as always, pretty damn good. You can't deny it. Even when it comes to the imagination scenes and it's like, oh, like this food is like a bonafide orgasm in your mouth and you're going to like some alternate dimension, just drenched in honey. It's like, what the hell's happening? E even those scenes are very well done. You can't deny it. When it comes to the overall pacing, you have the beginning part where it's pretty much the speech and then it's Soma being confronted by Irina and then pretty much Soma, you know, pretty much saying like, I'll make you say one day that my food is delicious and... You have since I'm on listening in, and then you have characters that are being shown that you can see that they're important, but they don't show you their face. There is one character said that they do show your face. There is a blonde guy, and then there is a bigger guy with uh, black hair next to him with like razor sharp teeth, and you can tell that those two are going to be high competitors, and that's pretty much it from a pace standpoint because you have that part, then you have the actual cooking part in class where it's uh, Soma and Megumi, and then they wind up dominating. So let me go on to that. When it comes to that standpoint, Soma, he can back up his claims. He made the chef, or the professor, well, yeah, no, they're one and the same. So he made the professor that never smiles, smile. The food was so good that he was brimming. He was in honey heaven. And what was also very important was Megumi, his partner, was pretty much sabotaged when it came to making the beef stew thing i don't know what it's called exactly but fact of the matter here is that it's like a giant piece of meat that has to be pretty much slow simmered into being into becoming tender in this broth and these dudes they hate soma so much because soma again very bad very bad first impressions that they sabotaged the dish that she was making and they poured salt in there so like a, a whole mound of salt so pretty much they had to do it from scratch again, and he did so in like under 30 minutes. Made it just as tender and used honey as a base. Because apparently there is a chemical compound in honey, protease or protase, where in which it actually helps tenderize the meat more effectively. So that's something that I didn't know, and I'm pretty sure a lot of folks didn't know, that you could actually use honey in that fashion. So again, like this does teach you a way of actually cooking, uh, I, I guess, better. I can't say that it will be better for sure because it's how you actually use the materials that you have. But, you know, try it yourself and see if it actually works. Will, will I do it at some point in the future? Mm, I can't guarantee that I will. But it, it is fascinating to keep in the back of your mind. Honey makes things tender faster. And the end result is brimming faces. And he winds up getting the highest... Well, no, he doesn't get the highest grade in the class on paper. But more so, he gets the highest recognition from the professor he says unfortunately i don't have the authority to give you any higher grade than this so it's like damn not only did he give you an a but he would have got he would have given you an s a triple s if he could have because that food was that damn good so it is what it is now when it comes to magumi herself from a character standpoint character wise she's not really that confident She's from humble backgrounds, and she is on the verge of failing out. When it comes to her freshman year in high school of the Totsuki Academy, she pretty much is off to a great start because of Soma. Let's keep it real here. But at the same time, at the same time, the situation was dire from Jump Street because of Soma. Because Soma was the one who pretty much became the main antagonist for the entire student body. So, if she wasn't paired up with him... Things may have went a okay, but at the same time, you can see that it's clearly a faded meeting between these two, Megumi and Soma. It's, it's very obvious. So, the episode overall, I think it was pretty good. 
It wasn't spectacular. It was just a means of showing you that Soma can, in fact, back up what he says, even in this prestigious school. And also you have character in introductions like Megumi. You still have Arena, who honestly, like Arena, you, you can pretty much tell where they're going with, with Megumi and uh, uh, Edina, where Edina and Megumi, they're kind of like the... What's that Twilight shit? The fucking... The, the vampire and the Edward and the fucking werewolf dude. Where the fuck his name is. And you have that one chick in the middle. Alright? Her. So you have that whole tri like that love triangle thing. And granted, even though Irina has no love for Soma, in the future you can kind of see that there is something there. Otherwise, you want to have Senzaimon, like, listening in on not just one, but two of their exchanges between Soma and uh, Edina, because it was the first time where he just happened to stop by when it was Soma who was going to cook for Erina, and she loved that dish with the eggs and then the chicken wing broth, the gelatin thing, and then he was also there when they were, have their, when they were having their talk after he had a speech. So you can see that since I'm on, he's like, huh, I'm making sure that this guy is actually good for my granddaughter. I'm making sure that this young bug is up to snuff. So, like, you can s clearly see where they're going with that. And last thing here is that, again, keep an eye out for the other characters, because there are some characters in there. Because when Soma makes that statement about how I'm not going to lose to a bunch of people that haven't served actual customers. Now, it's true from that sense, because most of those folks were in junior high of the Totsuki Academy. And even though it's still a very prestigious academy... They learned a lot of the science and the chemistry involving cooking. But Soma says the three years that they have spent learning in junior high, I have spent 12 years. Because I had because I first held a knife in my hand when I was three years old. And I was learning from then. And from an experience standpoint, Soma, you can you can't say for all the folks there. But for most of the folks there, you can tell that from an experience standpoint, he is a cut above the rest. And the fact that he could actually produce a very good dish within 30 minutes, use the honey, make the chef that never smiles smile, and then have a grade that would have superseded any other grade among, the, uh, um, among his class members, that is a clear indication that Soma is top notch. Now, there's one guy, again, like I said before, there was a guy with blonde hair and his partner who was right next to him, bigger guy with black hair. They also got a name in their class. And then this guy's like, if Soma was in our class, we, we would have dominated him. So the competition is fierce, but it's to be expected in a school like this. That's the way things roll. So that being said, that's it. Overall, the episode rating is going to be a good. And please keep in mind that, yes, even though these imaginary scenes are, for the most part, very sexual, then there was one part where the, there was the freaking technical thing that they love using here. Keep in mind that Megumi and every other girl here is below, not not below, they're 15 years old pretty much, right? They haven't had their sweet 16s yet, okay? And even though in certain parts of Japan, I think it is legal, in America it's not, alright? It's just not. So, motherfuckers, keep that shit in check. And when I say that thing, I mean down there. Keep it in check. Alright, so I'm done. King of Lightning, read the view, comment, subscribe. Have a nice one. Over, overall episode rating is going to be a good. Sayonara.